This is part 6 of the Gravel Truck Build Series. For those of you that aren't familiar with this truck series, we special ordered a glider kit for my brother's tree service. It was one of the last glider kits ever produced in Portland, Oregon in late 2020. A glider kit uses a few remanufactured parts, but it's a new truck. This one has a 1999 CAT 6NZ engine. Plenty of power and easy to work on. The engine was installed at Custom Truck in Coos Bay, Oregon then towed to Pittsburgh Power to be broken in on a chassis dyno. After the truck left Pittsburgh Power, it was towed to Edgewood Welding in Somerset, Pennsylvania. The team got right to work measuring for the bed, tag axle, and loader location. Once that was complete, it was time to give it the Edgewood treatment. A 20,000 pound non-steer tag axle with low pro tire was installed. Factory 80 gallon pal finger tank was used. Normally these trucks kick up a lot of dust and I wanted to avoid that. A custom air deflector was fabricated. Next up was adding the hydraulics and loader. A Parker 7070 piston pump and hard lines were added then pressure tested. Palfinger M13A loader was mounted with a Serco trash grapple. Being in Florida we get a lot of sun and rain so a custom umbrella mount was made. The 75 yard bed was started. The floor was welded sandblasted and painted. I can't say enough about the team in Edgewood. Every single person has a great attitude and takes pride in their work. A burn table precisely cuts the holes and pieces to exact length. The bed is made from quarter inch 450 hard ox and steel tubing. The 25 foot body was welded together and a smiley face added to remember my father. It was off to be sandblasted and then to the paint booth for a few coats of PPG paint and clear coat. Earlier in the year when I pulled it out of the shop in Oregon, I joked with Brad about doing a body in white. We wanted this truck to stand out. After the bed was mounted, it was time for some decorative pieces and a pair of 60 inch stainless steel toolboxes. You can never have enough storage. A fuel cooler with fan was also added to keep fuel temps down over a long work day. This will extend the life of the fuel components and make a little bit more power. I want to point out that when I drove the truck in Oregon, it seemed quiet. When I looked deeper into it, there was an option for high flow mufflers and different muffler shields. So I ordered a set and also some 5 to 7 inch tips. I wanted the truck to sound good and have the right tips for the look that I was after. With the truck complete, my brother Dale and I hopped on a flight into Pittsburgh, had some dinner, and got a ride on the Duquesne Incline. It was built in 1877 to move steel workers up and down the hill. Next morning, we met up with Greg Gigas of Shrewsbury, Massachusetts. We headed down to Edgewood Welding in Somerset. Greg and I connected in 2021 after the Midnight Edition 4900 truck was completed. Greg knows the importance of doing things right and was looking for the right builder for his next truck. He spoke to Brad and brought an auto car chassis down to them. Together they designed a short log truck for getting into backyards and using his loader to take down trees. It has a 500 horsepower engine, Allison transmission, and a Penn's Z fold crane. It extends to 35 foot. He's also pretty funny. Are we ready? All right, lead the way. So these guys are not. Tim, is that Todd? No, have not. Hey, Todd. Nice to meet you. Timmy Baker and Dale Baker. You got a hell of an operation here, sir. Back. I'm back. Yeah. Pretty big one.
At this point, I've got well over 80 hours into planning this build, maybe more. We are stoked to finally see it in person, drive it. All right, Dale, you ready? Okay. There she is. pause and explain something. In the past year, Greg tried a few different toolboxes from up north. Some of them leaked and the drawers didn't open. bigger in person than I thought. Not too big though. There's only seven. They had eight, but eight looks a little bit too big.
really empty the airbag. Piston pump built by Edward Weldon. Come on, man. Ah. Yes. <laughs> what to do it in two lines? <laughs> Excellent. 
Every last detail down to the exhaust tips was exactly what we were after. We thank the entire team at Edgewood for the build of a lifetime. We drove for a few hours towards West Virginia, climbed some mountains with ease. We added some extra payload to make sure the engine braking process was complete. The power of the 6NZ at the stock 550 horsepower is good. After a year or so, we can reflash it and make even more power. The CAT 3406E C15 is one of the greatest engines of all time, and there are people using them on the road with 800 plus horsepower. We got on the road early the next day and we're headed south to Charleston, South Carolina. We want to check out the Angel Oak Tree. It's estimated to be four to 500 years old and survived a number of hurricanes over the years.